Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today we celebrate the fourth birthday of Pink Fresh Studio with a fun blog hoop, lots of inspiration and giveaways along the way, so make sure to go to my blog to learn more about it. Spring is already here in Greece, so I cannot stay away from flower cards. We are enjoying beautiful weather and that's why I will be using this wonderful stamp set. This is called Fleur 2 and uh, it comes with a bunch of uh, flowers and leaves as well as a vase and there are also matching dyes. So I'm going to stamp uh, a few of the flowers that I picked from the stamp set along with the vase. I'm stamping them with black ink. And uh, I made sure that the ink that I used was um, alcohol marker friendly since I will be using my alcohol markers to color everything. Now the images are quite small so you don't need to spend a lot of time coloring. So I'm going to use only a couple of shades of uh, green for the leaves and I'm going to use a couple of uh, pinks for the flowers. After coloring my images, I decided that I wanted to add some patterns on the vase so it doesn't look as plain as it is now. And a great way to add patterns is to use this stamp set which is called Basic Banners. I'm going to stamp the um, vase one time in a scrap piece of paper just to create a mask which then I'm going to stick on top of my vase. And then I'm using black ink to stamp the banners. I decided to go with uh, different banners just for some variation. And now I can peel off the mask and you can see that my vase is looking better now since it has all that design on top. Now I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out all the flowers, the leaves and my vase. And I used my yellow shades to color the vase just because I want to keep my card fresh and spring looking. I decided to go with uh, greens, pinks and yellows which I think is a great combination for spring cards. Now I will add some tape adhesive at the back of my vase so that I can play around with my flowers and decide where everything is going to go. I'm going to stick the three flowers inside the vase. And I need to add a little bit of uh, tape adhesive there just to secure my third uh, flower. And then I'm going to work on my card base. My card base is made out of white cardstock. That's a standard sized card, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have a piece of uh, green paper which I'm going to stick at the bottom. Now this is going to add um, a touch of design on my card so it doesn't uh, look so plain. And at the same time it's going to provide uh, an area where I am going to ground the vase. So it's not just floating on top of my card. And of course if you follow my videos you probably know by now that I love dimension on my cards. So I used some foam tape at the back of uh, the vase and the flowers for some added dimension. Now I need to secure down the leaves, for that I'm going to use tape adhesive at the back and just place them as if they are coming out of the vase. Now I have enough empty space there to stamp my sentiment and this is a very versatile card so it would be perfect for any occasion depending on the sentiment that you use. Now I decided to go with one from the Always Flowers stamp set by Pink Fresh Studio and um, it says don't forget to smile. Always Flowers is a lovely stamp set full of beautiful uh, sentiments about flowers and it also gives you a flower arrangement to color and embellish your cards. Now I need to add some finishing touches on my vase so I used my white Nouveau drops and I'm adding some dots all over the place and using those Nouveau drops are actually very addictive. Once you start adding those dots you cannot stop so you will see that I'm going to add uh, dots all over the vase and I'm also going to add some dots around the flowers. And this is where I decided that I needed to add something more on my card to make it look more finished. So I cut out these thin strips of pattern paper, which I'm going to stick along the edge of the green cardstock. And of course my Nouveau drops are not dry yet and I had to stick my finger there. Anyway, that's a mistake I always do. I'm too impatient to wait for glitter and um, dots to dry. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget that this is part of a blog hoop, so make sure to visit my blog to find all about it and to enter the giveaway. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.